To find the oxidation numbers for each element in C2H6, ethane, we'll use these general rules here. So ethane is a neutral compound, and all of its oxidation numbers will add up to zero. It's neutral, we don't see a plus or minus out here, like we would with an ion. So let's go down our list, and if we look, we don't see carbon, but we do see hydrogen when it's bonded to a nonmetal. Carbon's a nonmetal. Each hydrogen atom will have an oxidation number of plus one. We know that they're all going to add up to zero, so we could make a mathematical statement. We could say X for carbon, and we have two of them actually, two carbons, plus we have the one for the hydrogen. We have six hydrogens. All of that needs to add up to zero. It's a neutral compound. So 2X, that would equal minus six. So X would need to equal minus three. So the oxidation number on each carbon is minus three. This works for ethane because each carbon is the same. If you had something else attached, like an OH here to the carbon, you would need to do this a little bit differently. But to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the elements we knew and used those to find the one that we didn't. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element in C2H6 ethane. And thanks for watching.